Hi there, Nicole Byram here, Dietitian and Health Promotions Manager with your Canadian Celiac Association. Today I'm here to talk to you about the Gluten Challenge. A blood test to screen for celiac disease is recommended as a first step when celiac disease is suspected or if you have a first degree relative with a diagnosis of celiac disease. However, if a gluten-free diet has already been started, the blood work may be unreliable and can be falsely negative. In this situation, you may be asked to conduct a gluten challenge. What is a gluten challenge? A gluten challenge is when you intentionally eat gluten to see if your body produces antibodies, indicating that you may have celiac disease. But how much do you have to eat and for how long? The newer approach to a gluten challenge has been modified to three grams of gluten per day for approximately two to four weeks. If the TTG at this point is positive, there's a strong possibility that you may have celiac disease and need to be referred to a gastroenterologist. Remember to keep eating gluten until this appointment. If your TTG is negative, then the gluten challenge must be continued and a celiac screen can be repeated eight weeks later for a total of 12 weeks from the start of the challenge. If your TTG at this point is still negative, then celiac disease is unlikely. If it is positive, then the referral to a gastrologist, gastroenterologist needs to be made. Of note, a gluten challenge is discouraged in children at certain times of development, before five years of age, prior to the formation of permanent dentition, and during the tween growth spurt. Here are some examples of what three grams of gluten looks like. Approximately one and a half slices of bread, about 12 to 15 crackers, and about three quarters of a cup of pasta. Always remember to contact us at the Canadian Celiac Association if you have any questions. Visit us at www.celiac.ca and, and click on the link for our contact information. From my home to yours, I wish you all the best with your gluten challenge.